Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And I love the glasses and the violin and the books, and it's stunning. So let's just double check our lights and darks for a minute, just see where we are with that. First thing we're going to do. And I'm going to show you some examples, some, some artwork that's done in this genre. Let me just show you this one. This is by William Harnett, okay? Now let me show you the black and white version of that. Do you see how this book is lighter? These are a bit lighter and we're following. Now you're designing paintings. Now you've got to follow the light. It's almost a triangular picture pattern, okay? I want you to see that. Here's another one of his. Um, again, let's talk, take about the color filters. Look, some very definite lights and darks, okay? So my thinking is, when I look at this one, and I put it in, you know, color, I think the book, Under Your Candle, needs to be lighter. I think that needs to be, come over here, and I'm thinking this book needs to be light, and some of this needs to be a bit brighter, okay? That would be the first thing I would do. Um, all right, let's take it over into Painter and just do those things. Also, the other thing I wanted to show you, he did a bunch of violins, and I love the fact that they're um, zooming in on them. I love the fact that he's got them sort of glazed over. I think they're really nice. I, you know, love, love this guy. And let's see, did he do it? Yeah, so anyway, that's what I've got here. Let me just come back to you. Now, we're going to go into Digital Painter, and with that in mind, okay, that's all I want to do is with that in mind, let's just change some lights and darks on this. Just, we don't need to do very much. We'll just do that, and I'm going to just show you his. So this book right here by the candle, right, if we made that lighter, let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, layer, new layer. All right, so we can come over here, I guess, with chalk. And kind of a gold color, all right? So we're going to say that this book here is this sort of vanilla ice cream gold color, all right? So let's just lighten this book. I'm going to make this a little wider. It's not going to be as good as the way you painted yours because I don't have time to do this. I'm just going to fool around with the lights and the darks a little bit just so you get the idea of just values now. That's all we're talking about is values. And then maybe something a little bit more gold up here, a little bit lighter up here. Um, just, just playing now, okay? Just a little bit lighter up here on this book. Okay, like that. There you go. You can still have your shadow, but, you know, you could just kind of, you know, make it not such a big deal. Okay, your sh okay here's your shadow. Uh, here, right? Okay. Going off the book like that, but you still want your outline. Okay, this is going like that, by the way. Okay, so we're going to do some gold on the book, some brown, okay? And um, we're going to make this, the pages, very dark brown, like he did. We're going to make these really, really dark. Okay, so remember, we're doing lights and dark things here, right? So we're going to say that these ones here are, this is really, really dark here. These can't get it dark enough. This is really, really dark here. So the violin isn't the only thing with the black thing in it, okay? So we're saying this is dark here, okay? All right, so that's dark there. It's our dark books, and here's our gold. You know, there you go. And you'll have to play with this a little bit, right? But I'm just saying that that's what I think we, we need to do. Now, I can glaze that a little bit. What I would do then is come up here into, whoops. All right, I like that all better already. I know you do too. You're sitting here talking to me already, aren't you? So new layer, let's come over here and glaze that back to make it look rounder. So let's take... Um, there. There. All right. So we're going to take 
little bit of color right here on the bottom. All right, just a little bit. Try to glaze that around a little bit. But this is our lighter book, okay? Now, okay, that works. Yeah, now I'm going to go into the, get our violin color, which is going to be these kind of reds. Okay, and we're going to come up here with the larger brush. We're going to just I'm going to polish up your violin. Okay, like that. And this is just with the glaze. I would just do this with some sort of red glaze. Polish up this violin a bit. Okay. All right. I like that. So far, so far I like that. Maybe do a little bit of this color on here like that. Okay. And it's going to have that color maybe a little bit in here too. Just bring it down a little bit under this thing here like that. Okay. So there's my glazing stuff. And I, I like that. You know, this kind of richness of the violin just really just come back with them. I don't know if I like that last one. But close, you know, just saying. Okay, now, all right, so we've got that. All right, now let's do new layer here. And um, I'm thinking, you know what I'm telling you when I'm looking at this is the blue doesn't go. It's incongruent with the background. Why would there be blue here? And why would there be a blue wall? I understand so what if you, now just, we're going to do a new layer on this for sure. Did we do a new layer? I'm going to do a new layer. What if we said that there was a window here? What if we said this was a window? I'm just going to see if we like that and then went, um, I'm just wondering if we, I'm just, just trying to understand what would happen if we did that. You know, maybe this was a window like this. Oh, well, maybe not that. Or we're just going to play here. We may not like it. I'm just trying to, before we change the background color, I'm trying to see if I can make it work. Okay, because for me it doesn't yet. Okay. So maybe there's stained glass window back here. I don't know. You have to do it better than I'm doing it. I'm just seeing if we even like the way that looks. Now, do we? Just wondering. Do we like that? I'm looking. Let John look at it too. If we suggested there was a window back here. John thinks that looks better. I mean, you have to Google this to make sure that, you know, I mean, I'm just suggesting a window. Now suddenly, okay, so I'm liking that, right? Liking the window, liking this. Now what? Um, let's come up here, new layer. Let's come back here with our a chalk. And I'm going to lighten. I want to go up here. Where's our colors? Come up. Come over here, you. Um, if I have a window, then, I, you know, and again, you could make it a little better, too. You know, you could. I don't know that I'd put a latch on it. Or if you want to put any little, you know, lighter. Let's see. We don't know if we we'll like this or not. If we wanted to suggest some, whoops, I like. I can't really. I'm doing this with a mouse, so I'm just saying if we like the lighter lines on it. I don't know that I like the lighter lines on it. I don't know if I do that right, or even the latch. You could, if you did did something like this with the mullion, you'd have to glaze that back because I don't want that big line up there, that light line, but. Just suggesting a window helps me. And then, just showing you here, right? Now, we're going to take some white here. And we're going to lighten up. Oh, you've got this beautiful. We're going to lighten this up right here like that. We're going to really brighten that up right there on this edge like that. We're going to brighten that up, right? We want to lighten up this. These books right here, this one, we're going to lighten this one up. See how that looks. So we could make this a little bigger so I could see it. Okay. Okay. 
So here's the green part of it. Come under here like that with the green book. Here's the bottom of it. Okay, so we're saying that those, I'm trying to play with your lights now, right? Whoops, 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 don't want that, want this. Again, trying to play with the lights on it. Bring this up just a bit, okay? Just a hair. Ooh, there's some lights here from the can. I don't know if there would be or not. You're going to have to play with that, see if you like that. Take it into your painting program, see if you like it. But I know if what I don't do know for sure is I, I, want, I want this a little bit lighter up here on this book, okay? There we go. All right, now, this one, little happy book right here, it's, um, the perspective's going this way, so you've got to bring this red one out. Violin's fine. Got to bring this out a little further and down on this one. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Um, now, that to me, makes a little more sense. And if we were saying, let's see what happened over here, just playing with you a little bit, just playing with your light here. And maybe I've got a copper pot here instead of a blue one. Now, if you're saying that tree's outside the window, I think that's a plant of some kind, isn't it? That's doing this. I mean, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm thinking that's a plant. So that means this plant's coming down here on this side, part of your little pot in here like that. I don't know if we're talking about that at all. I'm saying that's a pot. I don't think I'd have it a blue pot. Um, can't have it a green pot because we already did it got a green book. So we've got to bring it down. It can't be that bright. It's got to be kind of a dark brown. It's kind of something we just don't talk about. It's there, but we're not talking about it. Okay, and here's our green book over here like that. Okay, and then we've got the top of this green book. Remember, it's lighter. Okay. It's, I know that's too bright a green, but you can glaze it down. You got, you got, you see what I'm playing? I'm playing with your lights here. It's what we're doing. We're playing with the lights. I like this color right here. We're playing with that. Okay, here. I like that color right there. I think I want this one, this book, a little darker. Let's see if we like that. No, we don't. All right, we had a look though. All right, but it can't be the same color, so let's let's just do it. Um, Red. Nope. All right, we'll just leave that alone for now. Just leaving that alone, coming back up here with your violin where you want to do your highlights again. After you've glazed it, come back and do a few little highlights like that, just, just a few for trying to bring the light in. Okay, so you're, you're with me, right? Now that's certainly one possibility, and that's one I kind of like because we've, we're, we're, we're learning a little something from old Harnett here. Now if this is your shadow here, you want to soften that a lot. You want to take this shadow and you, you want to, well here, let's just blur it. Blender. You want to blend this shadow out. 
so that it's softer. Just soften that. Ooh, yes, just soften that shadow a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to blend that out right there. All right, now let's come back here and look to see how did we do with that. We're going to blend this out a little bit. Okay, now, good, yeah. All right, I'm going to just cut, copy this and take it over here and show you the difference with how I think this is going to look. Here, let me just take you over to yours. Just uh, bring it this way, and I'll show you the di difference. Because the, the, you know, normally you would do a dark background on this. If you're going to do a blue background, then you've got to explain it, right? Kind of the night before Christmas look. And then here, I think you need a few more little light highlights, even back here on the glasses. They're kind of, we're kind of lost them. Um, On the top of here like that. Where's the thing on the inside of the nose? All right, you're going to have to exaggerate those glasses a little bit with the light on top of them. You know, the lights there. You can see the difference now. If I didn't do that, I just need it with a different. Here, I need it with the acrylic one here. Too wide, okay, narrow. I mean, I understand you got it. I just want to see it. A little bit light right there. A little bit more light right here. Okay. That's what I think you need to do to kind of make this work. And of course, when you do these, if you put a window in there, do it a little better than I did. I'm just kind of showing you what a window would look like. Okay. So, and I still think I don't have this light enough up here. Top of this book needs to be lighter. Still can blend it out, but it just needs to be lighter. All right, now, I'm going to grab this one, and then, okay. Um, let me see something here. Let me look at yours for a minute. I think this lens is too big. It needs to be smaller. It's too tall. But anyway, um... Here, let's come back over here and just look at look at the. I just want you to see the contrast to these, the difference it makes if you put in a window, lighten this, and come back to old William Arnett's Arnett, where you've got everything kind of really. He exaggerated the light so much, okay. And the same thing here with this one. You can, you can see the light on the violin. Let me zoom in on that and let you really see that. Oops, sorry. See? It's this reddish color, the light. So, the light here on the books. So, you come back here and look at that and then look at this and see the difference. See, see what happens when you lighten this book up. And I think this was my last one that I did right here where I lightened up the glasses. I'm going to copy that. Bring it over here, paste that one on top. I think I like this one a little better. And, uh, okay. All right, now you see what I'm talking about. Just now, let's flatten them both, okay? Do -do -do, flatten all. Come over here, fix. All right. See the impact? See what we did? And that's what we're trying to do is we just we need a little bit more impact on our um, on our stuff that we're showing. That's what, definitely what you need. 
And um, I'm not sure that I wouldn't have lightened this area up here just a hair by the violin right there. Let's look at it in color. Uh, well, no, I think it's okay. I think if you bring all your eyes up, and then, now it becomes like the night before Christmas or something, it, kind of, it explains all this. So anyway, that's my two cents worth. Hope you found it helpful. A beautiful painting, and can't wait to see what you do with it. All right, have a great day. Art Hugs from Texas. Ha ha, bye.